Without any further ado, let's uh, bring me over here. And we're going to start off on Monday, which was the 20... 23rd. All right. Well, I didn't Oh, I didn't I didn't bring my book for the 23rd. So we're just going to see what I have in store for us. On Monday, I really just did palm or floor and vault. I was doing all my leg events to get ready for uh weight or strength and conditioning. And on this day, I was having a lot of issues um squaring up like I I just I've been doing it for a while where I seem to open up and I'm crooked like Look at where I'm punching. My chest is like over here and not towards the corner. So I'm missing some angle and that could be a deduction. And so this today I really was focusing on trying to fix that. And you'll see like a couple of these turns like am I continuing in the same direction? It's like no, that time I overshot it. So I was trying to really be more aggressive with my open up. But you could tell I went more to the right on that one. So things just uh, yeah, overshot that one and just got all whippy freaky. And that one I was trying to do my old technique where I just go over my head, but I, I did not like it. So uh, what I did realize was, you know, I just need to open up a little bit more. And then honestly, what all you'll see in a later video is fixing my round off, which is something I haven't had to do in quite some in quite at some time. But yeah, I'm still liking the new twisting technique, looking over at the ground and seeing where I need to land. Super, super helpful. So glad you remember that, Aiden. And what up, Josh? How you doing, dude? Pleasure to see you. Okay, so yeah, hold on. First, let me just take a break right there. There was what, like a couple vault things? So I did m a lot more vaults on this day. And I don't know where the videos are, so I'm sorry. But I will say what I have is that today sucked on vault. Monday was not a good vault day. It was very frustrating. And me and my coach were just going back and forth on what techniques need to, we need to do. But, spoiler, it gets better later in the week. So yeah, those are those are those videos. But now let's send it off into Tuesday. We've got oh, I was making some gains. I was feeling really good on this day. And so that Hanma, I think I had just gotten it for the first time at the end of practice last week. So now I decided let's start with it. Let's see that double front life. We get the stick city, so that was pretty awesome. And uh, you're excited to try that technique. Uh, you haven't been to practice since your last stream. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry, man. It, it's a bummer. It really is that you're not able to get in there the way you want. Uh, I you know. I, I hope that changes soon. But once you get in the gym, I believe that you're going to be able to take that and do what's right with it. <laughs> and what up, Gus? Hope you are doing so well. Sam the Man McCulloch is in the building. Here for you to talk about some gymnastics. And David, great to see you tuning in as well. Um, here's, I think I just got, okay, I got a pretty bad peach. But these these peaches are getting better. And you'll notice how much different that technique is. We did touch on it last week, but I really start getting in it uh, this week. Like, it it starts clicking, and I, I, I get as close to a locked arm peach, I think, in this uh, next coming clips that I have ever gotten to. So... We have made some big, big moves, and here it goes. Ah, that wasn't the one. That wasn't the one. I think this might be the one, so get ready for it. Get ready. I'm going to take it back to if it's... Oh, yeah, this was... Actually, I might even have another one. Let's pause, though, real quick. Let's see where I'm at when I hit that 90 degree. All right, so it's very hollow. Turtle back. Turtle back is the key. That's it, The skill is done in your chest, not in your hips. That was the big conclusion from last week. And then you're able to push back much more than uh, when you're trying to close in your chest so that your weight falls way further back. Yes, yes, I love it. Hold on, let me just keep riding this. Where? How much do I bend my arms? So slight, so slight. I'm going to get there soon, guys. Don't you worry, though. We're coming up on the... Ooh, what do I do right here? I think I do something new right here, guys. This is... The peach half. And look how that floated up there. This peach technique is super helpful. And we're going to break that down one more time because, my gosh. And this wasn't the greatest peach half I've ever done. But translating it with this new turtle back technique is super helpful. And so I do get super archy here. But it just floats so much more when I have all this momentum and centripetal force through that drop. And I want to say this might have been even better with the locked arm potential. Like, we're close. Look look at how little that bent. So this was all Donathan Bailey's technique. So he has really hooked it up. 
And then what do I do here? Oh yeah, I'm getting ready for some Makoots timers. Getting ready. And uh, David Bevan, you just got back from your run? Nice. Glad to see you staying active, getting out there. Where do you live? Because it's super cold right now in Colorado and it's bothering me. <laughs> and uh, you're able to practice with COVID. We just didn't get to practice last week. Oh, because of Thanksgiving. Oh, okay, well, that's good. I'm glad you're able to still get in there. That is that is the big key. That is the big key, Aiden. Uh, but yeah, we got some fresh, juicy peaches for you, Dylan. That we do. Um, and not you have, Danny, you haven't done a flip in two months because of the lockdown? Jeez. See, it's just so crazy how much it varies from place to place. And uh, Haley... Uh, you need to build a castle. Cop and Brian saw Ella and he's apologizing for scaring her. What would Brian do? Would he escort Ella or will he tell her to leave? She's in here for the ball. Tell her to leave. Get out of there. She's scared. <laughs> All right, hold on. Wait, what did I even end with? So I do want to get, just go back into this real quick. The Makoots, this, you know, I made a lot more progress later in the week. But like, you know, I felt, oh wait, this was the wrong one. It was, uh, where is it? Oh, shoot, no, sorry. I'm thinking of a different day. That's my bad. We're just going to send it over to High Bar real quick. Uh, is there any drills for peaches? Uh, there are. And so, here, let me just take this back while well, you got that question right there. Um, we're going to go, where did I start doing peaches? So, essentially, oh, even more, even more. Where's my, Okay. So essentially what you do is you would just do a half swing up until this point and then you drop down. And honestly, really, you could also do kips on the on the bars where you do a kip, feel that hollow chest, ride it up to this plange uh, horizontal position and just keep dropping back and doing a kip out of it. Because that, that's going to be your base fundamental for getting the drills for this drop. So we've th hopefully that helps a little bit. Uh, whenever the time comes for you to start getting uh, getting some more peach work in there. But I do want to start pointing out, look at how much I'm like really having this tight arch over in this area. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm trying to set up for every giant that I do that this is going to be my point of most open. And so you're going to watch, wait, uh, I do a Tkachev on this one. And I think I floss this one pretty good. Oh, yeah. I mean, I got a little loose in the legs as I'm catching. wasn't the greatest to catch of half, but I wasn't honestly trying to even do that. It just started flowing, and I was like, all right, well, we'll take that one to the bank. But yeah, you'll see. These these uh, these are much better Coleman's than I think before this, my elbow started hurting last time. Like, I'm just really snapping. Uh, let me go back. And this was a day that also got cut short. Um, so we're going to just break down this technique real quick. You know, I'm doing a lot more in my chest. I mean, I think the theme of what I'm coming to terms with uh, recently is how much gymnastics happens in your chest and in your rhomboids, which are like the muscles that pinch your, uh, what is it, your uh, shoulder blades. But this part right here is so aggressive. It's happening so fast in this area because I'm getting my tap in the right area. And I'm opening, I'm always watching the bar and that's really helping me keep my chest down so my legs can be aggressive on the kick up. So it's been very, very good for that. Very, very good. Been very pleased. But I did miss some of the casinas in my second half that I did. Not a full second half, but some of my dismounts. So I'm sorry I wasn't able to get that in there. Um, but I did, it was a good day because that was the first casino I think I, I didn't do any last week. But I did uh, this week. But it's okay. We'll get into the casinas a little bit later. And uh, Aiden, how can you lean back more on your heelys on P-bars? Um, let's see. Oh, hold on. That, yeah, I'm trying to... These This ring sesh really wasn't the best, so I don't have too much to say. I'll, I'll answer some uh, chat questions. Um, Aiden, I would say you... I, I kind of like having a bit of lean back. Really what it is is just, is your butt squeezed and are you looking down at the post arm rail? That's going to be the best way for you to, I guess, just be more consistent. Because if, if you're falling back, that probably means you're loose in your hips and your chest. And uh, I'd say if you can keep control those variables, you're going to end up staying in your 90 degree position and on top of your arm the entire time as you post through the twist. So I think you can make that work. Oh, Danny, I see. You're not able to. Man, I'm sorry. The UK really has you guys locked down pretty hard. That is that is some rough stuff. And Haley, I'm glad you're thankful for the streams. 
And, um, yeah, I, I mean, my Thanksgiving was good. So, no complaints. I would, nothing was burnt, and only the green bean casserole was disgusting, which I think you can expect is probably not the most delicious thing to begin with. So, hold on. Let me break this down for you. I'm really trying to be very dynamic with my open. And so, you can see I'm my toes are pointed here, and, you know, I was able to throw the double front and didn't land it, but, you know, I was feeling much better in my squaring up. And I was like, okay, I think I think I got everything I needed. But I think uh, as I get into the routine, I realize that's that might not be enough. And so I think on Friday floor sesh is when I'll break down the new round off technique that I came up with. Or not that I came up with that. But I think basics just generally comes up with. But look at that saucy double pike. Going with the solid stick. That one always just feels so good. And deduction free. It's just, you know, Randy's and double front halves. They They can be... Yeah, you see how much I went crooked on that? The Randys and double front halves just instill so much deduction with judges. So anytime I can get a good double pike stick in there, I feel feel very accomplished. But there's the double front half stick. I stuck every one of those passes in that first half. And so Andre had me doing first halves and a routine. So now I'm warming up all the other passes. And I was not doing well on this uh, double full full today. And I find, I'm not doing the flare spindles today, but I am warming up the flares for that. Um, and let's see, what else we got? An interview with muscle and fitness. You discussed your macros and you ate twice as many carbs as protein. Is that grams or percent in calories? Oh, uh, I mean, it's uh, it's in grams. I mean, you could, I guess, use a percentage to uh, your advantage if that's the way you want to go. But essentially, if I ate, I mean, it, it's something I don't hold extremely true to but it's like a philosophy i think my body has just started to notice over time um and so ooh, got another stick on that double front half but yeah i really focus on like for a long period of my life doing uh you know 10 grams of fat in a meal with uh 20 grams of protein and 40 grams of carbs that was essentially how i always just plan things out and my body just seemed to crave that ratio and so I've pretty much eaten that way for a while and I just – I know what my body craves at certain points of the day to help me – I don't know, just you know, not put on too much weight but really listen to – oh my god, yeah, I forgot that I got – there was a thorn in the floor right there. <laughs> I like rolled up and I stepped on a thorn. I was like, what the hell is this? So I, I, I'm going to go over time for this floor set and plus I'm also very gassed. I couldn't even make that double full full and did this – very awkward <laughs> cartwheel to the corner instead of doing the front full. But it's like, all right, let's make the most of it. Let's keep focusing on that twisting technique where I'm reaching behind me, looking at the ground and spotting where I do, uh, where I'll land so I can get get the stick city going. Uh, but I don't think I do very well on this because I'm pretty tired. I did a first half before this, and this is kind of where I'm now stepping up in my floor endurance. So I was like, all right, let's fix that last portion right there. Good double full full, got the stick. So no complaints there. And uh, did we make pies? Well, we bought pies. We got uh, apple pie and pumpkin pie. The pumpkin pie was gross, to be honest. I, I was not a fan of it. But apple pie, I have not had enough apple pies in my life. And it blew my mind. I, I It's like now one of my favorite pies. Uh, I'll still say I think pecan is my favorite. But I'll say apple has taken number two. Number two. And so yeah, now I'm getting into horse. We get a fun day here. Let's see how the basic sequence goes. I'm feeling really good on this Wednesday. Um, oh no, I was feeling good on Tuesday. I wasn't feeling as good on uh, on this Wednesday. My elbow was feeling a little swollen, I think, from all the all the stuff I was doing on it on Tuesday. So, but you know, still made it through. We're getting cleaner too, and my circles are looking a lot more rhythmic. Uh, if I get caught in a tough situation. I don't seem to loosen up to fight against it as much, but that all comes with comfortability and endurance. So we're getting there. We're getting there, and really, still not the best. Oh yeah, the triple rush, and here's where it starts breaking. It's like ah, you know, I'll take that one. I'll take that one. Yeah, double front does have a lot of deductions, unfortunately. Um, it'll be a D from 21. Yeah, exactly. The half outs aren't going to be as rewarded, unfortunately. And this is going to be your story, to be honest with me. Ella is here for the ball. So would Brian escort Ella into the ballroom or we tell Ella to leave? Wait, I thought I just answered that. <laughs> 
Sorry, sorry, I'm not sure what's going on, Haley, with that one. And yeah, this is where I start gassing out. Just like little <laughs> little floppiness in that action right there. And uh, yeah, I don't know what happened to all my vaults. I was just really struggling on vault. And I did a lot more of that, but I think uh, I think I was just kind of frustrated and forgot to, you know, focus <laughs> on making sure I hit record for the rest of it. But it really wasn't good. But what I was starting to realize is I need to have I need to pinch my shoulder blades as I'm sitting up, and that's gonna help initiate my turn. So I was like trying to do that, and I was just getting frustrated. I was like, it's not working. Let me try over here. And so here's where my notes will come in handy. I was like, just trying to refigure out. And that was the one that I needed. You'll see how different this one is. I'm going to send it back real quick. Look at how my shoulder, like, you know, good, good entry. But you see how my hips are still square. This is the shoulder blade throw that I'm talking about. And it honestly looks like I'm doing an air flare. And that's kind of what it feels like. But this is how I was able to actually get into like a really good twisting motion and, you know, really do less with my block arm, but do more with my hips to lead me through it. And so I'm honestly getting a little ahead of myself on these. Um, but that one felt a lot better. I was able to drive and pull with my left arm is what I'm noticing helps initiate this twist so much more. You'll see this hand right here is going to start driving and that's going to drive with my hips. And it really just helps you get into a good sit-up. And so I'm, <laughs> I slipped a little bit there. But it's starting to make sense again. And really what I'm trying to do is get into a horrible, like it's, it's strange. I sound like I'm getting into a plange and then I'm trying to block this elbow. And with this block arm, I'm trying to just throw and pinch these shoulder blades together to help get into that sit-up. But to really help initiate my hip drive into that sit-up rotation. So we're getting there. Things started getting better, and I think I'm going to be able to get my cause double soon. So I was like, I'm tired, but let me just see how I can translate this on the real vault. And I didn't get fully what I wanted. Uh, my hands were still reaching further than it was when I was taking drills, uh, doing the drills. But the hips are starting to lead in the right way. I was just too slow with my arms. And so we're going to slow this one down again. You know, I, I missed a lot of my block, but my hips started leading in the right way. And I was like, oh, I was able to naturally just kind of get a cause one and a half in there. You know, really throwing the hip and just feeling like my right side is in a constant arch has been really the leading factor. And so I, I was very tired. I was like, all right, I need to still get floor done. So we'll get put a pin in it for now. Let's write our notes down and we'll on Monday, tomorrow, we'll send it for another uh, session. Hopefully we can have a better results than the end of Friday's practice. Friday's practice? Yeah, we're on Friday. So then I was like, all right, let's get into our floor action. And really the same thing where I'm trying to just open up and be square. And it seemed to be working for the most part. Like those were nice. So it's like, all right, let's just try to take as few turns as we can to get in there. And uh, what else we got? I'll answer a couple questions. Oh, pecan pie slaps. Amen, epic swag. You know, dude, it is really, it is really just my my favorite for sure. But apple pie definitely definitely takes the cake for uh, what my expectations had. <laughs> um, you made a homemade apple pie and it was the best you've made so far. Respect the flaky crust. That's really what sells a good pie. That's for sure, hundred <laughs> percent. And Luna, thank you very much. Dylan, good choice. You made a chocolate pie and it was glorious. I, you can't go wrong with the chocolate pie. Mia just hates chocolate pie, so I can never be having any of those, unfortunately. And Epic, can you give you souk tips? Ah, what would I, I would have to say for a souk, the best thing you could really do, because it's different than a cause. I mean, I would rather you do a cause, to be perfectly honest, but you'll notice I didn't quite finish my twist on that one. But, you know, we'll come back to that a little bit later at the end of this set is when I try this new round off technique. But I would say, I mean, the most important thing is just trying to make sure that as you're punching, you're always punching. I like, I like to punch into a very tight arch. I mean, always leading with your chest coming up and your hips coming up over your head. If there's a way you can try to pivot your, <laughs> your chest while your hips are constantly rotating over your pivoted chest, that's going to be the way for you to get the most rotation. I know when you do a souk, you're trying to do a half, but really trying to get that hand as close to the front of the table as you can, and that's going to help with your souk. 
I'm not an expert on the souk, so there, there's probably a lot more I could give you uh, if once I gave it a go and could understand how it feels. Because that's the big thing about gymnastics. Doing a correction is so different of what like the textbook correction should be versus how you should feel and what you should think is going to get you that result. You can't just think, oh, here's what I need to do and do it. You need to think of something else to help you initiate that correction. And that's really where being a coach is uh, very difficult at times. And so here's what I did differently on this new round off. You'll see we're going to just stop. This hand turned significantly more. Normally this hand's kind of facing this way. This hand is now facing this way. And I'm getting more pressure on it, which is helping me square up into this twist. So my shoulders are coming a little more to the right because normally they just are really right into the left. But I was able to spot and twist around that point. But it just helped me square up a lot more. Like you'll see my toes are pointing essentially right at the corner. And I was just like, yep, yep. That was Andre's correction. I was like, I really appreciated that. Um, I don't know what this clip is right here. This is just me being exhausted and getting corrections, I guess. I think I clipped this the wrong way. So that'll take us into Saturday and things started getting spicy on Saturday. So I was good about that. Um, let me see. I think we can, I can read a bit of the chat real quick. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, okay. Um, was that handspring layout half on purpose? No, that was supposed to be a cause where I'm trying to have good chest position. But that was when I got frustrated. Yeah, that, that you can't really win them all that way. <laughs> And Haley, I did get some butterflies. A lot on my uh, Casinas and Coleman's on high bar. Uh, nice to see you. Uh, yeah, Liam, I appreciate it, man. The elbow has been feeling a lot better. Getting more comfortable. Um, you know, it's still not perfect. I still get a lot of inflammation at certain points of the day. Um, but it's not stopping me like it used to. Uh, I think I've gotten comfortable. And there's a, my first double front half in a good while. So nice one to take stock of, that's for sure. But yeah, I mean, wrist is feeling good too, so everything's coming together. I just need to make sure I don't go into quarantine and lose all this progress. And there's that peach drop drill that I was saying to someone a little bit earlier that's really helpful. So I'm getting better with this technique. Obviously, we'll see that going, but we're, we're getting there. And uh, Haley, I started gymnastics when I was uh, two years old doing Mommy and Me classes. Both my parents were gymnasts, so been doing this for quite some time. <laughs> and that block is crazy. You wish that you had that power for vault? You know, I wish I did too. I'm still missing some, but it really isn't power. It's just guiding the power that you get while you punch through the board. But hold on, guys. Let's let's watch this peach half. I I felt real I felt really good either about this one or the next one I did. Was I more hollow? Eh, no, I got I got too archy on that one. I do another one where I stay more hollow. But honestly, been feeling really good. I think this is the the much more hollow peach half. Yeah, it, it still wasn't per I got I got chopped up a little bit in here. So we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. But well, we're, let's just watch how much does my chest come out on this. I'm kind of curious because I didn't really break it down. So, okay. I really just started initiating my hollow <laughs> through that last portion. But honestly, it feels so much more controlled than it even used to back when I was in my prime shape before uh, COVID quarantine stuff. So yeah, we're gonna start getting right into some of our Makutsas once again, but we're getting there, we're getting there. And can you not scare me? Wait, Haley, why did I scare you? I'm sorry. And uh, Liam, what do I do in my free time? Honestly, I, uh, me and I just really watch shows. I like to play RuneScape. Um, I've been kind of bored of RuneScape though recently. So I've just been like cooking a lot more too. Uh, more do or like we've been doing a lot of dog training, so you know things are going well. Hold on, I do want to break down this last Makuts because this one was so nice. I felt really good about this one, but all right, we're gonna watch. You know, coming up nice. We get a good post. I'm a little too loose in my hips. Like if I had this tighter, this would have been even better. But you'll see, I bounce once, I push off twice, and I'm starting to look down this rail. Boom! I'm like, yo. Post arm, where's that end of that rail? And then it just floats so nicely. And that's the same thing you can translate to your Healy that I was talking about earlier. Um, but yeah, we have a pretty good day of high bar to make up for the day that I couldn't find in my, uh, in, on, I think on Tuesday. But yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. But Liam, what do you do in your free time? 
Um, I think I watch a lot of videos, uh, a lot of a lot of gym videos. But yeah, you know, I it used to be gaming. It's less so gaming and more just chilling and hanging out with the with the fiance. I don't know. We can literally just sit and talk at the table for hours. <laughs> goof off i mean we'll we'll like make some tiktoks every once in a while but you know we'll we'll just goof off you know watch things hang out with the dogs <laughs> it's a good stuff it's good stuff um my next live stream will be in a week uh so on next uh, sunday i'll be able to get that going um can you give or can you give some round off or can you give some round tips Wait, is that what you meant? Some round tip? I don't know what you mean by that. But there's the casino I was talking about. Oh my god, I forgot to forgot to mention. Uh, <laughs> so I started just getting into this weird habit, but I love these taps. I'm still just too loose. Look at that. You see that slow-mo rise from the dead? Watch this, watch this. <laughs> Something about that felt really good. <laughs> But yeah, I was just kind of getting a little tired, and I think that's why I was just losing a lot of my general body tightness. But, you know, a little loose in the knees, but the legs are coming up, and the hips are coming up so nice. If I didn't have the break in my knees and my hips, I would have significantly more height. But, you know, we got a lot to build off of, and I was very impressed with just the direction and the snap and the speed I'm having in this portion of my casino. So... Very, very pleased with how that's been going. And Danny looking clean. I appreciate that. <laughs> Steven, I appreciate you tuning in, dude. Loving the beard? Ah, thanks. I, I'm honestly not loving it that much. It's uh, it's very itchy, and I'm ready to shave it off December 1st. So, But I will say, No Shave November was quite the success. And yeah, I got a little freaked out on that uh, dismount right there. I'm uh, trying to watch the bar more on my tap, and it got me good. It got me good. Uh, round off tips, uh, honestly, I would just say I like trying to have uh, my shoulder blades pinched while I do, uh, while I go for my, for a lot of my tap, or for my round offs. Uh, I mean, keep your head in, but turn that wrist all the way, you know, round off, that's the way to go. You should be good with that. But yeah, I mean, double front halves are very easy, so I, I it is unsurprising. You know, De Danny, you know. I mean, it's much easier than a half in, half out, and that's only a one tenth uh, change. It's like, nah, there's a drastic change that needs to happen there. And double front, any tip for a front double front or double full punch half? Yeah, I mean, the best correction: keep your elbows in and keep your shoulder blades punched as you uh, on your punch for your double full, and then just kind of just ride that, ride your elbows to your hips and shoulder blades pinched as you open up into your uh, front half, and you'll be good to go. And uh, yeah, oh yeah, the Liukin. I totally forgot that that's what started. <laughs> yeah, no, I did my first Liukin, and uh, honestly felt good. I didn't want to push it too much, but yeah, we started started getting there, and I'm ready to catch them uh, on Tuesday. And honestly, look at all this horse. I have so much horse content now. It's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, your no shave November was very patchy. Hey, Danny, mine's still patchy, man. It's just it's thick but patchy, so I'm able to like comb over some of the patches, but not all of them. But honestly, that's everything we got for the episode. Um, we're getting a lot of progress, getting a lot of turns, and things are improving quite a bit. So I'm very happy with this week, and I'm excited for what next week has to offer. Uh, Shane actually just moved out, so we should expect to have him in the gym, hopefully on Friday of next week. So, very pumped about that. We're just going to keep making gains. Um, that's going to be the end of the episode with my gymnastics content. I'll stick around and answer some questions from the chat. Uh, but thanks, guys, for uh, tuning in and watching all the gymnastics.